y'all, it's Tammy and Chris. It is lunchtime at home, and I've got two pots uh, heating up on the stove. We are going to fry up a little bit of chicken, not fried chicken, but just sauteed chicken. And we're gonna, we're going to fry up these potatoes, kind of like hash. So I am just chopping them, kind of like a hash would be. Um, and I'm just going to fry them in some butter. So I'm just gonna throw some olive oil in it. And it's good and hot. Um, and I'm gonna put some butter in it as well. But we'll go ahead and throw our potatoes in here. And let it start cooling down a minute before I throw the butter in there. Or I can burn the butter. So we're gonna throw some butter in here. Those stirred up. I want to put a little bit of spice in here with these. Um, first salt and pepper. Salt, pepper. And I guess that's all we need in there for now. Now for our chicken. First thing we're going to do is cut up a little bit of onion and pepper to that one here. So let me turn this down on low. But it's good and hot now, which is a good thing. So all I'm going to do is take this knife and slice up some of this onion to go with our chicken. over there popping and fizzing good, ain't it? This is a new rate of knife, really nice and sharp. And then we're going to cut up a couple of little peppers and we're gonna throw it in there and let it start sauteing and So I like to cook my chicken really good and um, seared. You know, I like to sear it. Let me move this out of the way. Now in here, I'm going to put a little bit of I think I'm going to use the heat of uh, spices. All right, so if you'll help on that way, I'm going to reach up here and grab my fajita seasoning. This is my favorite fajita seasoning in the world, Badea. We'll put those in there, add a hint of butter, why not, make it delicious. Mix that around good. And we're going to let these cook until they're nice and soft. And while we're letting these simmer and our potatoes are uh, getting, you're going to want them to cook a little bit first, you know, get kind of done. I didn't have any rice made. A lot of people probably think, why didn't you make rice to go with this? Because I didn't have time and I'm in a hurry and I'm hungry. All right, so we've got chicken. The only thing is, and I've got some fresh cilantro too we'll use. The only thing about this chicken, it has these little tag things in it. I like to cut them off or out. Those little tendon things. These were actual um, tenders. So I'm just cutting those out of the tender. Sometimes it's down deeper. How's that looking over there, Chris? Looks good. Getting ready. I'll turn those potatoes up and get them nice and brown once we start browning up our chicken. Mm -hmm. And this is all we're having for lunch. All right, we're just going to turn these a little bit. Those look good. Mm -hmm. Not good. Look good and smell good. All right, let's stir these up a little bit. While we're waiting on that, I'm going to chop up 
a little cilantro, rinse it off and chop it up a little, get it ready to use. And then we'll also um, chop up an avocado. is not too well I'm afraid it'll get too brown if I leave it in here uh, while I'm trying to get that chicken dark because I like my chicken to get nice and kind of brown on the outside so we'll go ahead and plate this on here for now and add the chicken. I like to turn it all the way up on high, get it good and hot, and then add my chicken. Well, those potatoes are cooking up nice in this cookware. Looking good, looking good. I just a hint of butter in there to make them taste good. Let's see if this is going to be, this one seems pretty doggone soft. It may turn out to be too soft. So we'll see how it looks. Oh, it looks good. Of course, I'm gonna, I barely cut it in half, so they don't wanna come out. And we're gonna slice our avocado with this in just a minute. Add just a little bit of this. Got that the heat in. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all get a good look at that while ago if you didn't? Here it is. Yeah, they could see it. Or they should have been able Now you can put some in here if you want to. Mm -hmm. Or you can just let them be cheese potatoes like what we're doing. Cheesy potatoes. Alright. I got this up on high. It's going to take it a couple of minutes, so we're going to turn on this for three minutes. Um, and then I'm going to flip it over and probably cook it for a couple of minutes. Add a little more, more oil to it. And uh, a lot of y'all have a hard time and want to know how to cook for two people. And really, you just grab it and go, just like I did today. You know, you just don't cook in large quantities. And you don't have to put it in large quantities. You don't have to use, per se, a recipe. Just grab your meat, throw it in a pan, throw some good stuff on it, grab your vegetables, throw them in a pan, put something on them, and uh, cut up as many as you think will be a serving. So that's all there is to it. And that's how I cook most of the time instead of by using recipes. I just cook whatever I've got in the quantities that I know will feed me and Chris. And that's how we do it. Ain't it, baby? That's how I do it. That's how we do it. Do it. We shouldn't need two avocados. No. Sometimes for lunch, I'll take an avocado when Chris is fishing, and I'll cut it up. I'll put salt and pepper on it, and then I'll put uh, a little bit of, I used this adobe seasoning the other day. And it's a spice, a spice blend from that gourmet collection that I find at Marshall's or Ross or wherever you're at. Mm -hmm. um, and I put a little bat on it and I um, have it for lunch with a few chips. And that's all I have for lunch. But it's still pretty healthy. Better than eating just the chips. Or Cheetos for lunch, right? Yeah, better than Cheetos. <laughs> for sure. 
sure. Y'all haven't seen the Raida knives that we're using? They're really nice and they're very affordable. So you should check them out on the website. Just go to shop now and um, you'll find them. Will you hand me those little tongs over there, Chris? Thank you. About 16 seconds left, so I think I'm safe to turn these. Now, at this point, if you want to go three more minutes, you can. In that last minute, I'm going to add just a little bit of butter. I am going to go ahead. Ooh, we need to turn these. Mm -mm. You just let me get them brown, aren't no, you, Chris? It's just getting right. Perfect. Okay. Now, see how good these are doing in this stainless steel? You just got to gotta make sure you got some oil in it, and it'll do fine. And this little one is going to be done quicker, but hey, we're going to go ahead and add these peppers back in. Because we got this side as done as we need to. That's good. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this in there while it's cooking. And while well, it's just got about a minute left, we're going to put a little butter in it. And yes, we could do without the butter, but hey, a lot of y'all eat out all the time and y'all get plenty of butter, trust me. Mm -hmm. You eat now, you're getting plenty of fat. Good fat. Not good fat, but <laughs> taste good fat. Tasty fat. Tasty as that. Don't that look good, y'all? Now, see how simple that was? Just sitting in here. Chris was out there making a the fire in the yard, burning his brush. I said, baby, you ready to eat? And he said, yeah. I said, well, come on in here. We'll make us something. And quick, easy lunch. All right, let's put some, uh, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to put a little cheese on it. We just turned off that chicken. We got to get it out or we get too done. Hmm. We'll let that melt. Let's put a lid on it and let it melt. And then we're going to get the chicken out or it's going to get too done too quick. Make sure this is good. Turn for Chris. All right. Now, um, the thing that we're not doing that a lot of you would do if you were in a restaurant is having the brick or having the, um, you know, the burrito shell or the chips and the salsa. And, of course, you're not going to get cheesy potatoes there. But, you know, we wouldn't be from the South if we didn't make some cheesy potatoes. And that's what it's all about. What it's all about here to Nichols house. Good old. Now that's a good lunch. I guarantee it. Don't y'all want a bite? And um, it works really good. I'll give you that one, Chris. The extra potatoes. That was a simple lunch. Real quick. All right, let's get our good old avocado. Now this is a really soft one, so it may not be the prettiest in the world to slice. Did all right. So pretty like that. Mm -hmm. Here's another one.
Delicious punch. You put your little cilantro on the plate, but really our, our plate looks good already. Okay, we're gonna get a bit of taste. These cheesy potatoes. Yummy. And the chicken. Good. I didn't put a lot of salt on it because the fajita seasoning is not real salty. It's so good. You can sprinkle a little salt and pepper on your avocado to make it even better. Um, I think I'll do that right quick before we eat. I hope y'all enjoyed watching Collard Belly Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.